Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Integra Coach's entry-level Class A gas motor home with bunk beds. What's super nice is this one has the optional full body paint. This is a 2023 Integra Coach Vision model 29F. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Vision and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you a 2023 Vision with the full body paint. I love this, I love that. A uh, motorhome specialist here ordered this with the full body paint. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hey, everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. It's windy as usual. Oh. But um, it's guys, been cold, it's been raining, and now it's hot. Yes. But the one thing is always this is windy. Yes, at least they, you know, are consistent with that. Yes. Now, guys, if we have a Facebook, you can well, have Sheesh! Oh, my, that's that man, I was all blacked out. Sorry. If you guys have not joined our, our Facebook club, Art Deco, go ahead and join. It's a great way to keep in contact with Matt and I and just to, you know, talk to the community and keep up with everything camping. So join if you guys haven't joined. Perfect. All I love right. it. Andrea, there's all these sexy motorhomes. I driving know, I see that it's one. It's very distracting. Andrea, let's begin. Is that the Rebel, Matt? No, that's Matt Plain XL. Oh, okay, the paint job threw me. Model is. Integra Vision 29F. The actual tip tip length is 32 feet 2 inches. This is the Vision. This is their entry level motorhome. I love Integra. You guys know that. And I love the Integra headlight design. Also, what Integra does is give you one of the biggest front windshields in the entire RV industry at 120 inches. Standard, Andrea, if you can look at that Vision right there, that's what it looks like standard. Okay. This does have the optional full body paint which looks absolutely fantastic. I love the blue, I love the gray and the black. It just looks great. Right here we do got black mirrors on both sides. With cameras. Where's the cameras? Oh, the camera was integrated into these mirrors. Left side, right side, and the reverse side. This does have the easy drive, which is a computer balanced drive shaft system, making the Integra gas motorhomes one of the best riding. And because of the 2023, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. That's 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. 245 70 or 19.5. Very nice. Good looking rims and everything. Coming on down the side here, we do have a huge power awning with LED lights. Frameless windows throughout the whole thing. Two year warranty, three year structural from Integra. And then check out this storage right here. Nice. What I really like, Andrea. Is the doors. Slam latch doors. Coming on down the side here. Nice, look at that big. I wonder if it's a big TV. Oh, okay. Yes, big TV, sound system, Furion speakers, DVD player, power and everything. I like this blue a lot. Yes. Right there, we got some storage. Instant hot tankless water heater. Great um, job. Yep, I love how they continued the paint over it. You pay a lot of money for this paint job, Andrea. I want that thing painted. Right over here is going to be the propane. Because there was no lock on it. Battery bank. Yes, ma'am. And all the specs about this motor home here, bing! So everybody can see who's watching on television. And then here, it's gonna be a little bit more storage. Very nice. And then here. More storage. Andre, this thing is a storage machine. Coming around the back, we do got a nice bumper for a stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hits. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. You got a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Your backup camera's there, but Andrea, we didn't bring our U steps for nothing. We are going all the way up. We are dedicated. We took that to the airport with us. All right. Let's go up there, Andrea, okay. and take a look. Hold on, Matt. Here we go now. 
Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then there's solar already on the roof. Hold on. I got it, I got it. Great. Go like this. Make sure you always use ladders carefully. And make sure you always use as directed. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up on. What are the RV salesmen's bringing his own ladder to the dealership to go up there and show you what features the roof has to offer? Really, Matt? No one. Nobody. <laughs> Not through the airport, anyway. Right over here, Andrea, 50 amp core. Very nice. Right. Over here, more Other storage. Side storage. Right here's where we're dumping our tanks. Okay. Okay. All right, here's our wet bay. Yes, outdoor shower, wet bay. Water purifier. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. More storage. Okay. Generator's on. Only in 5,500. Yes, ma'am. And one more right there. And we got a 50 amp motorhome. Yes. A little bit okay. more storage there. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks beautiful, especially with the full body paint, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Cargo, carrying capacity. It is 1,642 pounds. Okay. Man, did you notice slide that? is in. Did you notice that? It's okay. Just walk through. Okay. We'll show everybody what it looks like when the slide. All right, guys. In. I'm gonna walk through. The slide is out. So plenty of walkway. Um, I I know when the slide comes in, the bunk comes up to here. So uh, and the bed you can still use with the slide in. There's the bathroom, and you can still open the refrigerator when the slide's in. Yes, ma'am. And Andrea, hang on a second. If you want to walk this way, I'm sorry, America. America, can Matt you tell is we just are hot and delirious today. Matt is just not thinking straight. It's okay. But here we go. Here is the walkway again. Nice walkway. I mean, plenty of room. You can still get to the fridge. There's the bunks. Yes. And you can use the bathroom through this way, and you could still use the slide. I mean, use the bed with the slide in. Perfect. And Andrea, let's get the slide out. Out. Give big shout outs to RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizards allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip, like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Andrea, easy slide, single slide, one way in, one way out. Really nice design motorhome. Let's get started up front here at the cockpit area. This is your Integra cockpit. Got your cup holders here, auto leveling here, power shade up and down. I love this. Heated mirrors. You can start your generator here. I love this. Nice controls. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, touchscreen, Sony, Bluetooth, everything that you would want. You also got cup holders here. Um, also, this is a great place to put your cell phone to make sure that it's not sliding around the motorhome. And both of these seats do oh. swivel to become part of the living area. Okay, this does move up a little bit. Andre, how do you feel up there? I like it. It's comfortable. Okay, good. Um, you know, 
this is okay. I know it's it's better than not having anything. But I don't right. feel like this one's wobbly. It is an improvement from the 2020, 2021. Yes, definitely. But still, it is still a little bit wobbly. It is. Okay, so you have electrical outlet cup holder here. Yes. I like that they gave you shades and not privacy curtains. Okay. Um, both seats do swivel. Okay. And uh, there is a pedestal table. <laughs> Right that there. Goes there. So as you can see, very nice extra seating. And it's comfortable. Yes, ma'am. And it's a good place, especially for a motorhome like this, Andrea. You're gonna want to be swiveling the seats around exactly. a lot. Exactly. Because this sleeps a lot and it doesn't necessarily seat a lot. Alright, so we have cabinetry right here. Look what they're doing here. Is that something new? No. These maybe it just looks darker than the ones I've been in, in the past. Um oh, that's a, a there we go one cabinet over there then we have the nice bunk over the cab you guys hold 750 pounds oh, i gotta swivel my chair nope, nope we're good you can show this and i love the bed it's a bit it's a good size bed it has these under here which makes it more comfortable yep and then you have your pedestal table there that would go there in the middle yep and again it does come down more but because andre is able to see it is now okay. i will show I do like this over the door, the blinds right here. Ah, very nice. Because a lot of times you don't have that, and I think I've tried to show that when I remember. A little bit of storage right yes. there. Three cabinets above the sofa. Yes, ma'am. Good storage. Okay. And then look at these valances. Andrea? Approved! Just kidding. Oh. Denied! <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, you tricked me. I'm like... <laughs> I was trying what? to. Oh, that is um, so funny. MC, uh, not MCD. Uh, privacy blind, privacy shades. Andrea right didn't like those valances before the valance test came out. Okay. That was really, really funny, actually. I was just, wait, you know, our viewers are probably like, what? What? <laughs> okay, so we got a nice sofa there, and I yeah. don't know if that jack nice It's just jack nice okay. down. It's just jack nice down. And then across. We have the nice booth dinette here with some cabinetry above. Yes. Three little cabinets. And then, oh, we got a televator. When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's wow. up. Wow. That's a TV. That's nice. Um, look at this table. I can table. watch the TV now. Interesting. You can uh, party with Cardi with this. Right. Watch music videos and everything. Insignia TV right above the dinette. Okay? USBs, electrical outlet over there. Yes. Right here, this dinette does also drop down to make a bed. And you got cup holders in it as well. Okay, here's the test, Matt. Let's see if they... Wait, is this a 23? Yes, you did say it was 2023. So Let's see. Now, don't get me wrong. This is going to be one of the first 2023s, so it might not be there. Car seat tethers there. Nope. Womp, womp, wow. womp, womp. Don't worry. I'm not worried about that because here's the deal, guys. Like, some of the very first... Like, it's like... Oh, right. The, like, literally, the one before this might have been a 22. The first 23s are really 22s. Um, it's not until, like, a week or a month later that they start changing. So, we will wait and see to see what they do for the next one. Okay. All right, Andrea. All How's, right. How do you like the kitchen? Here's the kitchen. I like the LED light above the slide. Got a nice cabinet here. Solid surface countertop. Got, oh, a tower of power. If I it. Hey, that's a nice tower of power okay, right there. I will say, I think I've complained before about it not having enough counter space, but I do see something that I like. Yeah. They gave you at least a little bit here, which is nice. And look, they put the two doors under here. Very nice. Good job, Integra. And then under here, a perfect place for a trash can. Yep. I really appreciate that, man. But there's budget cuts, so they couldn't include a $104 trash can. <laughs> We got a cabinet above the uh, microwave. We got a three burner um, Furion propane cooktop. Mm -hmm. Okay, backsplash. Oven. Yes. And a drawer down here. Yes, ma'am. Now over here, look, we have a two way uh, nor cold refrigerator. Uh, runs off propane and shore power. But what I like about this is it gives you the good size, size of a residential. Yes. Very good size. So it's size. not the traditional size yep. um, seven cubic or eight cubic whatever yep okay over here you have your panel your thermostat mm. and then oh look the bunks are you ready okay i'm ready do you want me to do it uh-uh okay go ahead i'm just warning in america when i lay down i might not get back up <laughs> all right matt look at the windows the windows are bigger 
Interesting. Okay. All right. You Not fit. Bad. They got TVs in here. You know what we need? We need one of those mirrors. Like, remember the things that yeah. you used to look at a solar eclipse? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I need a mirror here that is angled this way with another mirror here that's angled that way so I can watch the TV from right, right here. You got the lights? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you remember one of those solar eclipse machines <laughs> uh, that you'd make after out of a milk box. Remember that? I remember that. All right, uh, we got the top bunk here. There's TVs at the ends. And then underneath we have the two drawers, okay? And privacy curtains. Yes. And that's a very good size. Two doors going into the bathroom. Yes. All right. Come radius in. shower, womp womp. Bathroom. I'm not gonna get in it. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is a radius shower, Matt's favorite. We do not like radius showers. Uh, and uh, here is that cabinet. Yes. Um, actually, this is better. I remember not being in this model, but another model where I didn't like the cabinet above. Okay. But it wasn't this one. Medicine cabinet. I like the colors in here because it's different. Yes. Sponges, storage, and then, uh, okay, Matt, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see. Yeah, I like how it's set back there more, not overhanging. You know, Integra let me down a lot of ways on this unit. But on this way, they did not let me down. This is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. I had no doubt. Yes, All right, so Matt's going to go through that way. I'm going to go through the main entrance here into the master. There's a pocket door there. And queen size on. bed. Here as well. Oh, queen size bed. Yes. Okay. We've got storage all the way around. Okay, you so. You'd like to show this? Look what they did. They did the dark cabinetry on this side and then the white over here. I like the contrast. That's interesting. They did give you a nightstand over here, everyone. But yes, look at the wardrobe. Okay. Very little TV. Yes, I'd say so. Nice drawer right there. Good drawers. Good drawer right there. Did you see? End up seeing this drawer? Nice size right there. And is there storage under that bed, Matt? Let's find out. Here's what I do know: the AC unit in here is working fantabulous. No. no. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. And look how the beds is the bed staying up for you? No, not at all. Oh no. It's actually a heavy bed. But it does have that that there. Yep. And some storage is better than no storage. Right. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves. We gotta go over the MSRP and three things we like and three things we don't like. What are we doing first today, Andrea? Uh, let's do three things we dislike first. Okay. And I'll go first. May I go first? Sure. Only because I'm right here. Okay. Bunk beds right here, they do not flip up out of the way. This is an automatic dislike for any bunk bed manufacturer or any bunk bed floor plan manufacturer. Make this bunk flip up out of the way so we can use it for storage or for closet space in case the kids decide not to come. Because here's how it works. If you guys have kids that are 15, thir 13 through 18, and you buy a motorhome that has designated space for them, they'll never go camping with you. But if you buy a motorhome dedicated for two people, then they'll always want to go mm, camping with true. you. Very true. That is dislike number one. Andre, dislike number two. I'm going to keep saying it, and I'll keep saying it until it changes. I'm going to say I, the balances are a really big dislike for me, and the no piano hinges still. Yes. It just kind of is what it is, and it is what it does, Andrea. Oh, oh and, and I have a second, a third dislike. Okay, okay. well, hang on. We have to marinate I really in have one. the Southwest Valances. I like the Valances, but Andrea calls them Southwest. They are. And you don't like them. I don't like them. Okay, <laughs> that is number two. Andrea, okay. what's his number third? Guys, designated pantry space. Where is it? None. Oh. Such a big deal when you have a a family motor home with bunks and all this sleeping area you're feeding all these people you know like where do you put all your food above here and you still need storage space so that is a, a big dislike for me now andrea i i will add that you can get the smaller fridge right here with the pantry but then you have a smaller fridge right so give and take give and takes it is what it is andrea that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Do you mind if I go first? Go ahead. The full body paint on the outside yes. is beautiful. But the slam latch doors. Love the slam latch doors. We'll always like the slam latch doors. Especially on this unit. It's a price point unit and they did a fantastic job with that. That is like number one. Andrea, like number two. 
Light number two, you guys. I love the contrast in here. I love the white cabinetry with the dark colors. Looks good. It's different. Not everybody. balances. And <laughs> not everybody's doing it. So yeah. anything different, you know, it's exciting. Perfect. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three. You know what I'm gonna say, Andrea? Number three, I really like this social circle right yeah, up here. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. The seating. The seats are easy to swivel. Trust yes. me, guys. Trust me, some of them are the worst seats to swivel. And it's spacious. This is a very comfortable sofa. It's very spacious. And then right there, you do have your dinette. And you get the table right there. Andrea, you know, a lot of times um, when you're sitting, people are going to have to be sitting in different areas while you're eating. Like, even when I'm right here, I could just still kick back and watch yeah. TV. Yeah. You know? No, it's a great layout, for sure. Yeah. Well, Andrea, that's three things we like and three things we don't like. You know what time it is, Andrea? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $202,647, Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, as you guys know, we're not currently allowed to advertise the sale price, but I know we will be able to get everybody a fantastic sale price because we are a part of RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So, if you're interested in this Integra or any Integra, please go to my website. It is mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We will hook you up with the closest Integra Coach dealership. We're going to make sure that you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra does read the comments, and they do watch all the videos. Yes. So let them know what you think. Talk to us. Other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And, Andrea, we'll see you next time.